Yeah, so why isn't there a need? Uh, across the country, four million kids don't have access to arts education. Uh, the government has been doing a lot of um, budget cuts and they're trying to cancel out arts education out of the equation and that's the same thing as canceling out education altogether because in order for kids to have a holistic, um, comprehensive um, curriculum, they need arts as well as math and science and reading and writing. Do you want to make it into a ball again? So what Project Art does is we go directly to the source of the problem. What we're doing is we see a problem, we look it in the eye, we see the data, we anchor ourselves in it, we connect the dots, and we go to the public libraries and we just give free arts education. Uh, it's once a week for an entire semester and the best part about it is that at the end, the students get to showcase all of their art in art galleries. If you look at the data, um, students who are exposed to the arts are five times more likely to stay in high school. And we're not talking about a minuscule statistic like, oh, 2.9% uh, or 30%. They're 500% more likely to stay in school. And that's a big deal. You're putting the little pieces inside the holes? Yeah. The And if you look at any school, any pilot school that has arts integrated into the system, the students are more engaged with the art, therefore they're more engaged with their studies, therefore they average higher scores than any other schools. This is Clay. Who's used Clay before? Wow. A lot of you guys have used Clay. And so when they first hear budget cuts, the first thing that they're going to cut out is something like arts and culture because they think it's fluffy, they think it's extra, they think it's an exhalation of spare time or spare resources, but the reality is, is they have it totally backwards. You ground yourself in arts and you're activating both sides of your brain and suddenly you are able to think of answers outside of the box. You are able to innovate. How did we come up with Facebook, Google, the, these iPhones? Innovation. And that starts with a paintbrush.